Welcome back, folks. In today's video, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of data visualization by learning how to create a violin plot using GraphPad. Violin plots take the popular box and whisker plot and improve it so you can see the density of your data in addition to the center, spread, and any outliers that may be present. So, let's get started and make some beautiful violin plots together. One of the advantages of violin plots is the ability to display statistical information within the plot. GraphPad allows you to add measures such as mean, median, quartiles, or even confidence intervals. In order to create a violin plot, we need to ensure our data is properly organized. You should have at least two groups or variables that you want to compare. Make sure your data is structured accordingly. To insert the violin plot, go to Insert and then select New Graph of Existing Data. Once the Graph dialog box pop up, select the Box and Violin option with the vertical violins. Now, let's customize our plot to make it visually appealing and informative. GraphPad offers numerous options for customization. You can change the color, size, and style of the violin plot, add titles and labels, adjust axes, and more. Feel free to experiment and find the settings that suit your needs. Once you're satisfied with your violin plot, it's time to fine-tune the details. You can adjust the font size, axis limits, legends, and any other elements you wish to modify. Take your time to perfect your graph. Once done, you can export it as an image or save it in a variety of file formats for further use. Congratulations! You have successfully created a violin plot using GraphPad. Violin plots are fantastic tools for visualizing distributions and comparing groups of data. Feel free to explore more advanced features and techniques offered by GraphPad to enhance your data visualization skills. That's all for today's video, folks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and feel more confident in creating violin plots using GraphPad. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorials. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy graphing!